Hey guys, welcome back to All Things With Wheels. Today I'm gonna be making my WL Toys A959B brush list. Pegged? Oh, what? So we've got some Surpass Hobbies. So we have a 5200 KB brushless motor and a 60 amp ESC. Let's go ahead and install these in the car. All right guys, I actually got really excited to install them off camera. So I'm sorry I installed them off camera, but it's pretty straightforward on how you do it. The motor fit in perfectly. Look how massive that is. And then I managed to squeeze in this massive 60 amp ESC right over here. Um, so the next step is to install this servo. So this is a micro servo. Um, I'm not sure the brand you can see it there. I don't know what that's called. Um, so let's unbox it. So it's going to be the perfect size for the A959P. All right guys, so what I ended up doing is um, the case so you can see it didn't fit. I just went ahead and shoved some foam in there. Um, so when I screw that down, it'll hold that servo super duper tight. All right guys, so it actually fit in really, really, really nice. Let's connect the servo horn to the steering system um, and then we'll connect the receiver and we'll be all done. So what you're gonna do for that, you're gonna take your servo plug that is gonna go on channel one, making sure the black wire is on the right side. You can see how that's oriented. That is the proper way to have to plug it all the way. Then take your plug from your ESC, put that in channel two, plug that in all the way. And for me, that is all I have to plug in. I just have to plug in the ESC and the servo. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put batteries in your controller and then go ahead and turn your controller on. So you got the light there. And then you're gonna go ahead and plug your car in. And then go ahead and turn it on. All right. Um, well that wasn't supposed to be bound up already. I guess it came factory bound. So that's kind of cool. I really didn't have to do anything. You guys saw that. I didn't do anything. It was just already bound. Well, that's, that'll make my job a little bit easier. Um, but something you will want to do, if you do want to activate the gyro, which I do. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. So you can see there's a little button right there, and if you press that little short taps three times, so I don't know if you guys saw what I did there, but I, I don't know if you could hear me, but I, was, I pressed that button three short times right under the receiver, and you can see the gyro was activated. Um, but something I noticed is my servo is not in very tight at all. So I'm simply just going to put some hot glue around it and see if that'll hold it. I doubt it will for very long, but it may make it hold for just a little bit longer. Well, all right, guys, I just took it on a quick little test run just to make sure everything worked. Um, and well, this happened like, yeah, so a massive chunk of the tire came off. So yeah, so I went on eBay and got these foam tires. So I just found these things for really cheap. So foam does not expand as the rub, rub, rubber does. Um, so we're gonna put these on and the tires should not explode again. Well, all right guys, we got all four of those wheels installed. I say they look pretty darn awesome. Um, so without further ado, let's take it for its first official rip. All right, guys, we have the finished product out here. I put a little front spoiler on there just to make it a little bit more controllable. We're at this super long, super smooth road. It'll be perfect to hit some super high speeds. We're going to be running a 2S 60C LiPo battery, so let's get it powered on, put the speed meter on, and get straight to speed runs. Hey, right, guys, so you can see the Dumbo RC. I got the gyro turned on, so that's going to help it keep it straight. So I'm not steering it at all. It just has a gyro built in, so that just will help keep it straight. So we got the speed meter right here. Let's turn it on. 
This is a Dynamite Speed Mirror 2.0 mode, mode, and then enter. I think we're all recording. All right, let's stick it on and do our first speed runs. All right, guys, the cars have finally stopped. Let's do another pass. Keep it pegged for a long time. That sounds crazy. What? What? 56. Guys, this is the fastest car me and him own. Com like, that's crazy. That's faster than his Traxxas Bandit. That's faster than my Arma Vortex. And this is a WL Toys. That is madness. All right, guys, let's see if we can hit any faster. I apologize for the wind noise. We're just doing our best here. Here we go. Here it comes. Jeez. Whoa. What? That was full. That was full for a second. That was crazy. Here it comes. Pegged. Oh, what? Oh no, it flipped over. Gonna hit. Let's see. Let's see. 59 miles an hour. We gotta go for Guys, that is 59 miles per hour on a WL Toys with a Google RC system. We are gonna hit 60 in this video, I promise you. Here we go. We gotta get 60 and get up right next to it. All right, guys, so that was the best pass we've had today. It crashed right over here. We're gonna see what we hit. I have a feeling that was 60 miles per hour. When that passed me, I felt the speed. It was crazy. It's 60! 60 miles per hour right there. You saw it first. That is crazy. We're gonna do a couple more speed runs, see if we can get any faster, and then the video is effectively over. Guys, 60 miles per hour is insane. To put this into perspective, the Arma Vortex 3S BLX with the high speed pinion gear is claimed to hit 60 miles per hour and that costs $400. And this is a WL Toys that I paid around $250 for all these upgrades. This is good. This is crazy. Let's go see what we hit. All right guys, so 59 miles per hour is still incredible, but not as fast as our 60. Let's give it one more attempt. If we don't hit faster, we'll go ahead and end the video. How are the tires doing? Well, this one's all ripped up because I had a crash off camera, but all the other ones are holding up fine. These are $10 eBay tires. Nice, I didn't even know they were that cheap. I'm pretty impressed, yeah. Here we go. Pegged. Full power, full power, full power, full break, full break. And we didn't flip over. Let's bring it back and see what we hit. Whoa, 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 no! Now we got to find Okay, the speed here is over here. Nothing broke. All right, 59 miles an hour. That looks like 60 is going to be the limit today. Well, guys, that is going to conclude today's video. So as you saw, this car performed amazingly. It was crazy fast. Had actually a lot more control than I would have expected. Um, we hit 60 miles per hour, which is insane. The next video with this car, we will be putting a 3S LiPo in there. Because remember, all those speed runs were only on a 2S LiPo. So imagine this thing on 3S. That is going to be crazy. There's a link to the brushless system that I used in the description below as well as to the tires. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Farewell.